Hi everyone, this is just a short video to help one of my subscribers um, print more than one picture on a page. Um, I'm gonna share how to print multiple pages on one page, okay? I think I can explain that. Okay, I can't see this very well because I'm looking through the camera because I don't have a tripod or anything here. But what you do is you open up whatever you've got in a file cabinet. You know, one of your file folders that you've kept your digital in. All right, so let me see here. Um, you know, they could be in different, you know, folders or whatever. Let me see if I can find one. Um, what's this? I was gonna find one that's got pages. Okay, here's a collage here. All right, so here in this um, file is uh, six pages. So if I right click on this one, I can go down to print and click that and then you would go to the photo part of your um, Windows 10, all right? But I want I want more of these on one page. So I'm going to, and I don't know if I can do this or not. Um, I will hold the Alt key down. No, the Control key down. Hold on, I've got to figure out how I can do this with one hand, which I don't think I can. Okay, let me see. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. All right, I'm going to highlight them. Um, I'm sure you guys know how to highlight everything across. I'm gonna highlight them and then I'll be right back, okay? I just got that, picked it up really fast. Okay, so here is um, the files that I picked, all right? I highlighted each one. And if you just hold the control key, um, you can pick this one and let's say this one but I can't hold the key and do this at the same time. So then I right click and then I go to print. Okay. Now you can see that I have this one here and there's what six pages down here to print, but I don't want to print them a full size. I don't want them to be a full photo. So I go down to the five by seven click on the five by seven and I get this on two on a page. So let me show you, I've got three pages now. So there's this next page and the next page. Okay. I hope I'm explaining this. Okay. So let's say you want them, um, as many as you can get on a four by, um, a three by five. So you click the three by fives. And that's like journal uh, card size. So you could make your own journal cards. If that kit doesn't come with them, uh, you know, it's too bad we can't make tags. But anyway, you can make your journal cards. Um, you can make um, four by six sizes. Um, you lose some paper there if you do that. Um, you can unfit this if um, uh, fit picture to frame and I'll tell you the problem with that. Let's take this and let me fit this. Okay, so now see that makes it as large as it can be. Now, that's fine usually for a full page, but if you're going to use a file, let's say it has tags or journal cards, and if you do that, you will end up cutting off part of your tag or, or part of your butterflies. So check before you print to make sure that everything is totally visible in this particular um, picture in this frame here. So that's um, what you do if you're going with pictures, which is files that are, let's see if I can get back, um, files that are come to you in a uh, JPEG form, not in PDF. So now let me see if I can find something that's in a PDF. 
Okay, let me go to my Christmas pages. And these, this one here is um, a PDF. I can't see it. What is that? Okay, no, that's something else. I don't want to use that. Let's use this one. That's winter something. See, I have a few PDFs down in different places because that's how the digital comes. Um, so I'm going to open that file. Now, over here, this is uh, in Adobe. Okay. So up here, it says there's one of 10 pages. So we go down, not too fast, go down and we see all the pages that we have, right? So if you want to print all these full size, then go ahead and just go up here and print, print. But if you don't want them in full size, but you want more than one on a page, we go up here to print. I hope you can see this. I don't even know if you guys can see this. Okay, we'll go up here to print. And then we come down here and we go to multiple. Okay, so there's all of your, and this is what I use for my, um, uh, when I, I, I've been putting in my book to keep track of what my, what digitals I have. Okay, so now you can come here and there's, I have it set like right now at number four, but let's say I just want two. Hold on, I gotta get rid of this four. I think that's how I do it. So, hmm. hold on again, let me just see. Okay, there it goes, I, I had to push multiple again. But see, now you have four on that one page. So depending on what size you want, um, let me see, how do we just get two? Um, let's see, that's like four. How about two by, maybe I have to push one here. I haven't done this on, I don't use, uh, there we go. But then again, you know, it's smaller. Yes. I don't use this very much. I, I, you know, when I have to, I do because that's the way a designer uh, brings in a page. And now like here, I picked one page and it's, it won't let you do multiples. It won't let you shrink down unless you want to go here. Okay, you can, I'm sorry, you go custom and you can back this out and just type in 50%. Oh, it's probably printing now. <laughs> I'm sure it printed because I put, okay. It, my printer is gonna go off in a minute, I'm sure. I do this every time. Okay, 50%, but you don't wanna click print or you don't wanna right click. You gotta get off of that. So there's, um, it shrunk down to 50%. But what I don't like is that it's all on one page. I mean, you're wasting all this paper. Unless there's a different way to do that, which I don't know. Because I don't do Adobe that much. But anyway, I hope that gives you a little bit of uh, information. And it tells you at least kind of how to get there and how to start doing it. There's other videos. I couldn't find one to share. So that's why I just went ahead and did my own. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.